Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today we're gonna get going with our second episode of both new home automation products and new home automation features on existing products. So let's get going. I'm gonna give you two more products and two more features here. All right, well, this first product that I wanna to talk to you about here, it's not necessarily a brand new product, but what it is is a product that's finally hitting the market and was you know, something that I think was talked about a lot as being a bit of a different product here in the world of home automation. Now that product is Google Clips. So Clips is now finally on sale. You do have to be in the US to get that product, but it is now on sale for you there. So it's $249 US and I'm sure it's gonna expand out as we go here. Now, if you don't remember what Google Clips is, let me give you a little refresher here. It's a tiny, tiny camera that sits in your living room or wherever you'd like to place it and captures moments for you without you intervening at all. The other thing that it's intended to do is pick the best pictures from a number that it takes. So it's intended to go out and get exactly what you want as a parent or as a photographer of, of different subjects in your home. So there you go, it's out there now, you can go ahead and buy that. Okay, so the second product I wanna to talk to you about is called the Wemo Bridge. Now this has been out for a little while, but I now have mine. So here you go, this is the Wemo Bridge. Its intention is to connect your Wemo devices that you already have in your home here and it's intended to connect them to Apple HomeKit and Siri so that you're able to finally control your Wemo with Apple HomeKit. And of course, with the upcoming Apple HomePod, that integration is going to be very important. So, of course, I'm gonna get this opened up on Automate Your Life here, show you how to connect it, how to get it all working, and show you some of those uh, little nuances that sometimes catch us when we set up devices like this. So, that's our second product here today. Now in terms of new features, there, this is another US specific one, but I think it's gonna roll out very, very quickly here on all of our Alexa enabled devices. That feature is the ability to send SMS messages. So if you have a friend with an Android phone and it's very specific right now, that feature is, it, it, you are capable of sending an SMS message from Alexa using only your voice. Now, that feature is going to pop up on your phone here or on your application, on your Alexa application. It's going to pop up for you when it's ready for you to go ahead and use. So, once again, keep in mind, right now you can only send SMS messages to Android phones, but we're sure that's going to expand very quickly to include, of course, the iPhone. Now the other feature that I wanna to talk to you about, it's not so much a feature as it is new devices being included in something that you might already have in your home. Now that device is actually the Samsung SmartThings Hub. What they're doing, and I've noticed this a couple of times here in the last month or so, they just can't send me a notification and it says, hey, we're gonna update your hub here and we're gonna add a couple new products to that. Now, the most recent one that they've added is the AOTech set of multi-sensors. So this is a set of multi-sensors that we don't have a lot of access to here in Automate Your Life or really in general with our other home automation hubs. So now it's important to know what AOTech actually is. I think that's one of the things that kind of sets it apart. It's actually a Z-Wave battery powered multi-purpose sensor. So, you know, a lot of the sensors I've been using are actually Zigbee. And so if you have a Z-Wave system or you want to connect that Z-Wave system and you need a new multi-purpose sensor to replace what you were using, here you go. And you can also go ahead and connect it to the Samsung SmartThings hub. Now, the other thing that this update gives you from Samsung SmartThings, it gives you access to more of the Samsung appliances or the smart home appliances that they have. So that's what I think that says to us is 
Samsung is going to go out, they're going to create these new products, but they're not abandoning the smart things ecosystem. They're integrating with it. And I think that's really important for all of us to know that Samsung is continually updating that platform, giving us something that we can use here for a number of years in our home. So there you have it. Two new home products, of course. Like I said, the Google Clips, not really a new product, but it is finally getting out on the market here. So Google's finally telling us they're ready with that device. The other device there, the Wemo Bridge, I think actually that's gonna be used a lot. And I forgot to mention earlier, it's only $40. So this is not a really expensive addition to a Wemo system in order, in order to get you connected to the Apple HomeKit or your new Apple HomePod if you're headed in that direction. All right, well, there you go. That's gonna wrap up episode two here for our new products and new features um, series here on Automate Your Life really happy with this new series. I really like bringing you these new products and I've had some good response. But as always, if this is something you want to continue to see, please let me know whether you comment, like, or subscribe. That always lets me know that these are the kinds of videos that you guys are looking for here in the home automation space. So once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.